What's going on guys? Welcome back to 100% Chelsea and welcome back to another match day vlog. It's the last group stage game of the Champions League. It's Chelsea versus Atletico Madrid. We've already qualified. Atletico Madrid need to win to even stand a chance of qualifying. Is Conte going to feel the strong side? Are we going to go all out for this game or are we going to feel the slightly weaker side and focus more on the Premier League? Are we going to get the three points? Let's see what happens. Up the Chels. Yo. The get go. Hold time my bro Moraine. Young star. DJ Vab. DJ Vab. DJ See Run us in the biz. See us on the roads. See us in the club and you know we getting hoes. See us running crow cause you know we getting loads. And when we see the feds, yeah, we ducking ten toes. Yeah, you see us in the bits. See us on the roads. See us in the club and you know we getting hoes. See us running crow cause you know we getting loads. And when we see the feds, yeah, we ducking ten toes. And it's my brain. You can see us in the bits or on the roads. Billing them, we chilling at the spot with the Bros. Whether it's in whips or if we do in ten toes Everywhere my rain go, bro the gang go Yo, see us in the bits, see us on the roads See us in the club and you know we pulling hoes See us running draw cause you know we getting lows See the feds then you see us doing ten toes Then it's back to the TN10 we go Back with the bros, me amigos Filling up suits on a DVD or PS3K So we don't spill no THC We run this town just like Jay-Z Are we gonna... Fabregas to hit. Ah, straight to people. We go the shot. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Thought I just went in. I tell you what, that was a good shot from Morata there. Ah, oh, Morata. <laughs> That's a great ball. Morata. Oh. Good job, man. That's a good job. Atletico Madrid so far. Both teams have been pretty good defensively, but Chelsea have had the majority of the chances, and we've had the better chances. Atletico haven't had a shot on target so far. And to be honest, I think we should stick with the way that we're playing right now because I think as the game progresses, Atletico are going to get more desperate because as it stands right now, Roma are drawing 0 0 with Carabag as well. So I think as it would stand, an Atletico Madrid win would take them through. So we've been, again, we've been playing well defensively, but if we keep at it, if we keep playing the way we have, because we have been very good with our chances, we've just been unlucky. We've just been unlucky, but every chance we've had, most of them have tested the goalkeeper. So if we keep playing as we are, Atletico's going to get more desperate, and then that's when we can strike them. Let's see what happens in the second half, but as of right now, it's been a pretty good performance. Up the Chelsea. Come back. Let's go free 
big stretch this one. Okay, guys, um, as you can tell, it's the next day, it's Wednesday now, new different set of clothes and everything. Chelsea finishing out, one, drawing 1-1 one, one against Atletico. Atletico Madrid now out, Chelsea are now progressing to the last 16 as runners-up in the group. So this basically means that with, all the, uh, with the majority of the other English teams either first or likely to finish first, and us not being able to face Roma because we faced them in the group stages. Our only real chance, our only real opposition that we could be facing is Besiktas, Barcelona and PSG. And we're more likely to be facing Barcelona out of the lot because they have some restrictions as well. So, it's most likely going to be a tough draw, but we just got, we just got to face and beat whoever comes in front of us. Because if we can't beat them, then we don't deserve to win the Champions League. But moving on to the game... Personally, I didn't think we played that bad. I thought we played... I thought we were very good defensively. I thought both teams were pretty good defensively. I thought the midfield was a bit iffy, but not really much to get angry about. And in the in attack, 
we did miss a lot of chances. We had plenty of chances to kill the game off and we should have. And with Louis right now, Louis, what's your thoughts on it? I agree with you, to be honest. I think that we we played well. Um, obviously, as it is the next day, you've already said that. I've said, obviously, that, you know, I think, you know, we, it doesn't really matter that we didn't get the win. Um, I've, I've been slaughtered for saying that. But obviously, I wanted us to win. Um, I was happy with us, that the fact that we were already through. And thinking about it, realistically, even though people were making, I was making the argument for uh, finishing top of the group would have been better for us, I'm kind of wavering to the other side now. I mean, hear me out on it, I know people are going to disagree. We have a better chance of progressing in that group if we beat one of the teams in there, because it already gets rid of, well, if we, if we beat them, we progress and it could potentially be a good opposition. So basically, we would already be in the mindset of beating a big team, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and I know people will say that obviously me saying finishing seconds in the group is okay, da, 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 that's not a winning mindset. Yeah, no, I know that. But we're already through. You know, so mathematically, a win, a draw. Cut in that group anyway, we evidently weren't the best. So, you know, Roma came and they battered, we bat they battered us at their place. So, you know, they deserve to think we're finished top. They drew with us at ours when we were 3-1 up. Yeah. They deserve to be top of the group. So that's that's just how it works in my opinion. I, I, I think, you know, yesterday's game, we didn't take all the chances to win. Uh, we created them, we played well, just didn't have that final cutting edge, really, to be honest. Um, I mean, we'll have to see who we get. But it's going to be a busy couple of months for us, I think. Maybe. Yep. Whoever, whoever we face, just got to take them out. But guys, this is your vlog for the Chelsea Atletico game. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G as well as 100% Chelsea. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Louis Benaventi as well. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Up the Chelsea.